coming to you from Africa tonight to bring you the beautiful, fantastic Tarina Kailis Cordatus or Kilimanjaro Mustard Baboon. This is an old world. <laughs> this is an old world species that I'm going to attempt to breed tonight. Fingers crossed. Let's hope nobody dies. I'm gonna do what I most often do by oh gosh, look how big and fat and pretty she is. Introducing him to her, and I will be hovering over with my tongs. She might be tapping already. I'm not sure if that's what I saw or if she was just getting adjusted. Uh oh, whoa, whoa. Let's be careful here. What you wanna see is leg tapping and them to face each other and ultimately rear up and she kind of looks like she's okay that's just what we want to see just exactly what we want to see she's making room for him this is excellent yeah whoa okay so there's a little bit of unintentional vibration there. Hopefully that didn't mess them up too bad. So I'm gonna get quiet so he can concentrate. Oh! Okay! It's getting crazy up in here. Oh my gosh! I've never seen this happen before. Yikes! Okay! She went from doing a full back bend. He has her completely flipped over. The trick's gonna be getting out of there without getting his face eaten off. Her fangs are bared, but I'm not seeing any venom. Boy, I sure hope he's doing what he needs to be doing, because this is a really weird position. I think that she kind of lost her balance, and now they're just confused. Uh, I'm not seeing any penetration, but this is a weird angle. I do think he got her. We might be able to get a better look when I watch this footage. Okay, wow. That was absolutely amazing. Whoa, first time I've ever seen anything exactly like that. And you can see how incredibly fat and fertile she is. And so, wow. Huh, that was exciting. This was Trina Kylis Cordatis. Uh, stay tuned for a care video and hopefully an egg sack really soon. See you guys soon!